grasping manipulation and exploration tasks with the Octarm Continuum Manipulator. This McKibben actuator-based continuum robot performs prey strike grasping behavior similar to behavior seen in Squid. The trunk operates in open loop mode, relying on the compliance of the manipulator to successfully encircle and grasp a green foam tube. The trunk also demonstrates grasping in unstructured environments by supplying the pneumatically driven muscles with compressed air from a tank mounted on an all-terrain vehicle, the trunk can be operated outdoors. By simply encircling the desired tree branches, the manipulator can successfully grasp and drag the branches without the burden of detailed information about the size and shape of the branches. By forming a hook, it can drag a pallet withstanding large amounts of vibration without losing its grasp. Multiscale grasping refers to the ability of the trunk to grasp objects over a large range of sizes. Here a small box is successfully grasped by enclosing it with a single section of the trunk. Likewise, a slightly larger box requires a two-section grasp. You can see that the robot's trunk conforms to the shape of the box as it grasps it. We can also grasp cylinders and successfully release them as desired. An a object with a poorly defined shape such as a pillow can be grasped and manipulated. And finally, we have the ability to manipulate very large objects, such as this final object seen, and successfully release. Extremely fragile objects, such as the lampshade shown here, can also be successfully manipulated simply by enclosing them and relying on the compliance of the robot to successfully distribute grasping forces equally around the circumference of the object grasp. The robot can be teleoperated to perform a number of useful exploration tasks. The operator watches the output of the video cameras and a virtual reality display which gives the shape of the trunk. Cameras mounted on the top of the trunk provide an overhead view while a nose cam provides additional information. Using these views the operator can successfully encircle and grasp an object as shown here. In addition the trunk can be formed into a hook and then pass through the center of an object to be grasped in this case a roll of duct tape. The nose cam can be used to explore objects which are hidden from the user's perspective. The robot can be used to perform a number of additional exploration tasks. For example, by passing it through two 90 degree bends in PVC pipe, the contents of the bottom of the pipe, a can of coke, are revealed. Or, by inserting it into a tunnel, the contents at the end of the tunnel, again the can of coke, is revealed to the operator.